Hi, welcome to Baby Juice TV, it's the Connor Candle Show, and I'm here with Freddie. How are you doing, Freddie? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, indeed. Good. It's nice to catch up with you. Yeah. I haven't actually spoken to you all day, so this is a good way just to catch up. Yeah. So, uh, did you fix that wart problem? The wart? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I've been to the doctor. <laughs> Fine. Sprayed it off. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult with that, that particular area. Yeah. <laughs> it lands my walks. So what's going on in the world of the vape land? Uh, we've got three, three interesting bits of news. Three. And there's uh, two of them are quite, quite funny actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have a funny one first. Let's go for some funny news. Funny one. Uh, so the uh, Medical Journal of Australia. Oh, I think I've seen this. Yeah, you have, I think you have seen this. I'm one. not going to ruin it for you. <laughs> Um, but they found, they tested some, some liquids out there and they found some of them might have had a bit of poo in them. Yes. Um, they actually said they found, um, the actual headline I saw on the Sydney Morning Herald was um, poo found in e-cigarettes, <laughs> which would mean someone wasn't very clean. <laughs> <laughs> so she found an e-cigarette. It's an odd pocket. I think they mean uh, in, in the actual e-liquid. Interestingly, Australia's incredibly regulated, isn't it? You can't, um, you, they don't sell nicotine in the shops. Yeah, it's all... It's all as we said before, we said this before, we get a number of Australian orders um, into the UK. Um, but it's, it's strange, when you have this regulation, you create a grey market. It's the same with drugs, isn't it? Mm. Um, and so, un, un, surprisingly, people are probably knocking it up in their uh, toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they found... They found um, what quantity of faeces? Um, they didn't test to see... There's not, there's not like a legal... Level of yeah. I mean, how much would you be happy to have yeah. feces in your? Uh, I was fine. So there's a bit of feces in your state dinner, but um, it's beneath the legal limit. Many feces, or just just, just, just the a, one, just the one peppered, <laughs> peppered with feces. You probably. Also, they spelt it um, differently to how I've ever, ever seen the word feces spelled. I saw it as F E C E S. Feces. Fe Maybe that's the way you do it in Many uh, the Antipodean world. <laughs> but they found uh, they found nicotine in there as well. Where I, people would like mixing non nicotine. That means surely right. someone's just sold them. Is that, is that like a mystery shopper, do you think? It's got to be, because I mean, I you, know, yeah. why would you. I mean, Nick Rose, you make e liquids out there, nicotine's that expensive. Mm. Why would you go, oh, just make this a little bit more expensive myself? Whack a bit of nicotine in there. I think it's where people who are making non nicotine stuff to sell within the, the legal market and then also knocking up. Nicotine containing liquid as well. And they're not cleaning them. Yeah, and it's like the contaminants. They're vessels. Sort of thing. Yeah, because there was a couple. Of, I think the like vessels are soiled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there, there was there was like six samples, and some of them had like zero percent, zero percent, and then there was some that were like zero point zero four, and then some was like really close to three, where you can see that was definitely. Yeah. They've obviously made it. Nicotine one, yeah. But you make you think, then have they just done like a? Oh mate, go on, chucking a bit of nicotine. Can you do that for me? Yeah, probably. And to probably get some, I'd be surprised. Yeah. And so what else? Not, they found, they, didn't they find something else in there as well? They found something less than good in some of the liquids. They found nicotine poo. Well, there was, it, it said that um, one... 2 or something. Yeah, which is not the thing that's found in poo and blood and oh, okay, other fine. stuff. So they were saying, well, You're going to find it if it's in there. Could be a bit of poo, could be a bit of blood. Nice. Not really sure. Nice. A bit of all sorts. Which goes a lot, which is why, I mean, it's... I know a lot of companies out there who, who might watch this who who put an awful lot of money in TPD have kind of were kind of behind it once they, once you invest in something you're going to back it aren't you? Um, but it gives the consumers that level of regulation. Yeah. Um, which yeah, if you're going to buy, you see some of these some of these we get offered some brands as well, don't we? And they just look like someone's just uh, done it in their bathroom. Yeah, definitely. I think that's I think that's why even when. You look at shortfills and stuff like that. When we when we look at a, a new product stock, we will, we'll ask them even if it is shortfill for a, for an MSDS. So we just we can see, make sure there's nothing untoward in there. For those of you who don't know what an MSDS is, material safety data sheet. Well done, on the spot as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, we have a look at that. I sure struggle with that. So I've got uh, braces put in, and I've realised I have a. Uh, it creates a list. Oh, have you got it in? You can <laughs> yeah. tell. Uh, all it goes like it goes like a, a milky colour. It's the uh, it's the Invisalign stuff. Which oh, is okay. It's very difficult to talk. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing gumshoe. I'm pulling a gumshoe as well. Go on. Nice. So what's uh, there's, a bit, there's been much response to that? So has anyone? Because you often you see people post a little response, don't they? Uh, a rebuke. Yeah, I think what they're trying to do is I, I, th I think they're hoping that there's going to be some change in the, in the legislation so that it's, it does become like a regulated market. So then it's, it's so because what they have there is they nicotine's banned. Yep. But there's no regulation on e-liquids. I think zero nick is is unregulated. I think that's a pretty much you can do what you like sort of market. Um, and then anything with nicotine, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if there's a, what the regulations are for the devices. 
I imagine that's probably not the same. Because last I know, it may have changed now. If you know actually, please stick it in the comments below, I'd love to hear. Um, what, you just couldn't sell nicotine liquids. Yeah. So shops were just selling zero. So there is basically, they've regulated so you can't have nicotine, but they haven't regulated what they were probably trying to regulate in the first place, which was the liquids themselves. Mm. So people are creating unregulated e-liquids that was just pointless. Yeah. We get the whole damn thing or don't do it at all. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So that's quite funny. Um, and then we had uh, Norman Lamb, the Right Honourable Norman Lamb, sorry, MP. Um, he do you know why he's Right Honourable? Do you know the reason for that? No, what do you do? It means he's in the Privy Council. All right. So you're just an MP, but yeah. if you're allowed into the Privy Council, either you're I think maybe you're a bishop or if you're a prince. If you're, if you're prince of Wales is one. Um, I don't know if he's right honourable though, he doesn't need, does he really? It's not. If we go by prince, wouldn't he's you? Got, yeah, he's got a few yeah. titles in the back. Yeah, when you pick title online shopping, you know, <laughs> oh, I'm going to go without prince, I'm going to use right honourable. Um, or if you're a member of the uh, shadow cabinet, shadow cabinet or the cabinet, or perhaps on some cross parliamentary committees. Hmm. There you go, that's the political hour with Dave Dukes. <laughs> Join us next week to find out what's happening with Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> I keep, do you keep seeing these memes? I know it's a bit off topic, but the, the weird. No, I like off topic. Dan, dancing ones. I saw the, um, the Hobbit one. The. Um, what's it? Is it Gim, what's it? Not Gimli. Not just Gimli of Glory. What's the. Uh, My Precious! That was the worst impression. Oh, yeah, Gollum. Gollum, that's it. I've seen a good yeah. Gollum one. Yeah. <laughs> it's incredible. It's good. So we've got a, bre a government that's trying to push for Brexit run by a Remainer and the opposition who want to remain led by a Brexiteer. Yep. Marvellous. And they're paid fortunes, aren't they? Relative fortunes for their output. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's um, he's made a letter, and he wants some changes made to um, the TBD and some change in the MHRA. So what there was the main. What was, his, what was the main crux? There's two two main points really. He wants to change the um, the restrictions on sort of like two mil tanks and like the same thing, twenty milligram. He's sending people that are probably using liquids more. And it's a bit anti consumer having it limited to be like, Isn't because he years. works in alongside with his IBBTA? Yeah, so he's, he's working with quite he's a few He's an activist. Things. Yeah. Is he late? I don't know, it doesn't say. It would say what he, what he uses. <laughs> well, man, I imagine. Why normal lamb? Normal lamb yeah. likes to use it in a good endurer with TAT. <laughs> I prefer his red rocket six engine. I'm sorry. Yeah, I love that. Good yeah, that was, that was, that's the main, the main crux of it. He wants to change that. And then the other part is he wants to see. Um, the MHRA actually recommended uh, e-cigarettes to people who are looking to quit smoking like officially, so they can they can but as part of like a smoking cessation. Service. Do they actually promote yeah. anything at all in any other sectors? Um, I don't know. I don't know if they do, but I know it, it's it might be then that manufacturers can start looking to uh, getting their products licensed as a as a medicine, probably, and so as a, as a proper smoking cessation tool. Then you can stock them in pharmacies, can't you? Yeah, prescribed. And that's the goal, isn't it, for a lot of the big, particularly for tobacco firms, mm. they, they want their products to be in a pharmacy and it's paid for by the government, isn't it? Definitely. That's big money. Um, another thing he wanted to change as well is he wanted, you know what we were saying last time about Jewel and their... Um, the charging point. He hates it. No, no, it was the... Um, Check out my video, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't stand any electronics device that has a different charger. And someone gave me a Jewel kit and I took it up to the staff and said, guys, try this alongside our own pod kit. We'll see why we made our own pod kit. And then, oh, we can't charge it. No. There's a little video ripping them down. And you, the angle of how you charge it, most sockets are facing the old way. So it ends up like if, you, if you've got it in, you know those little two plug sockets where it's got the USB charger? Two plug sockets. You know like a regular two gang, three pin socket? Okay, yeah. And you've got the two little USB things? Yep. Most chargers you put it in, it ends up like poking the thing you've got plugged in on the, on the three pin. So you can't even plug it in. That's what I find like, really annoying. Really cool. But anyway, they, Jewel have got this thing with um, Marlboro now where they will have coupons for the jewel in those packs. And he wants to, he's recommending there's a change made to um, the advertising of tobacco products so you can have those sort of coupons for vacant products found in UK cigarette packs. It's quite, it's quite smart, isn't it? Really? I think it's a really good idea, yeah. It's a really smart move by Marlboro. But they said that they want to they cease producing tobacco by a certain time. Mm. Cease selling tobacco. I, can't, I don't know whether or not the big markets are the emerging markets, aren't yeah. they? I can't see in a country where the GDP is magnitudes lower than America. I mean, a lot. I know it's smoke. It's cheap. If you're smoking a mouth to lung, vaping a mouth to lung. Sorry, that was a cardinal sin. If you're vaping a mouth to lung, obviously, it's darn sight cheaper than smoking cigarettes. But then, if you go to, you know, I've been on holiday to Egypt, buy a box of cigarettes for a quid. Yeah. So I don't know whether or not any liquid is better value. It's not. For it. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, there was. Uh, did you see there was the uh, the police managed to defuse uh, a potentially armed standoff in the right arm, sort of spraying petrol everywhere, threatening to. Uh, with well, the, the petrol pump in his hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. So was he limited by the radius? Was he having to like? Hold on? Was <laughs> he, you want to go? Hang on, <laughs> hang on. Maybe, a bit was saying, further. <laughs> maybe he was saying you could do it from like both sides. So he's going around the other end of the car and it's not, Smart. and that's giving him the arm. So he's trying to. Speed, he ends up like spraying petrol everywhere, and he's trying to light bits of paper. Uh, and then he gets back into his car. He's like, oh, oh, oh I've got the right arm. And uh, they they sent him a little phone, and they um, asked him, "All right, I'm just going to calm down a bit." Oh, I'll have a cigarette. Well, I can't do a cigarette because it's a petrol pump. Oh, so they gave him a little vape. Oh, nice. And that's so uh, he was like, "All right, all right, I'll get the phone." What uh, what vape was it? Didn't say. Oh, I really wanted to know. Yeah. I thought that'd be amazing marketing. It'd be really incredible awesome. marketing. Yeah. yeah. It'd be the most viral marketing yeah. ever, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, it's, like perhaps sending someone down to petrol station and start doing it. <laughs> I just want a vape and juice, vape. <laughs> that's genius. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. Any new kits coming out? Um, so we've got the, um, what else have we have? New, we've got the new top side dual. Dual, Do you mean dual, dual top, boat, top side dual. Battery. Dual battery. So this is 18650 now, isn't it? Yeah, dual 18650. Before they had, what was it? 20? Oh, single 2100 or 2700, I think you can use both. That's a really, really cool kit. I think everyone's going. Yeah, we did. Um, we did a top five video for top five innov innovative vape kits. Mm. Well, I put them in number one because I just think the or well, the top feels sensible. Um, the yeah. bottle's massive. The, the skunk bottle's massive. Have there been any problems coming up with having a ten mil skunk bottle in there? Because I know there was talk of yeah, have they put an insert in there or something. Or? Well, they so the way that Dovepo ship are those top side ones in both the, the new one and the old one is they just take it, sent it to us separately. So it's not even in the box. So then we go, okay, well, thank you for buying a dot box. Oh, is that why? So Here you go. Here's some you get the extra boxes. Yeah. Right, okay, because that makes sense. So I, when I was doing the demonstration, I hadn't actually seen one in the box before, and it came in two separate little boxes. Yeah, that's it. That makes sense. I think that is now, um, that is now the rules. That it, uh, The new Vandy Vape Pulse, Pulse X kit does the same thing. The little box set release. It just seems silly, really, doesn't it? It's a complete waste of time, because everybody's just going, okay, fine, we can't sell it. Well, the whole point of having a two mil tank was the danger of leaking e liquid yeah. everywhere. When people were having a two mil tank on a mouth to lung device, obviously, is oh, it's still a minuscule amount of nicotine. Yeah. But uh, so many people have zeros anyway in their, uh, in their 10 mil tank, so it's kind of 10 mil of 3 milligram is akin to 2 mil of 15 milligram, isn't it? I suppose, yeah. of that quantity of nicotine, but more diluted. So it does, seem, it does seem rather silly. Is that, so that's that on the market now, is it? Yeah, that's, um, that's available in uh, the all of our stores. And how does the, in good terms, because I know it's quite similar to the, the Wismic Rolo, isn't it? The shape of it. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah, it's the same sort of like triangular almost, almost sort of shape. Ergonomic still? Yeah, yeah, it's, it fits nice, it's comfortable. Decent, decent. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so uh, one thing I want to talk about, um, I've put a couple of videos out lately. Uh, we're about to launch a platform called Vape Run. Oh, sorry, that's my, my lisp. Vape Run, as in if you're running. Um, easy way to describe it is it's the deliverer of a vape, um, vape platforms. Um, there are companies out there who do same day delivery and they're quite, they're quite centrally located to certain areas, particularly mostly London. Um, and we got approached by them a while back, uh, about two years ago we got approached by one of them, I won't mention the names. Um, and it effectively asks you to send your customers to their website. So what I mean by that is you've got the customers on your website, you have a link and it goes through to their site. Now, if you're a rational, sensible business person, you probably think that's slightly flawed. Um, so how's Vape Run different? Well, we're going to send you customers. Uh, we're not going to take customers from your platform. We're going to organically farm for our own customers and then send them to your location. Exactly as delivery do. So if you've got a food and beverage business and you want to get some extra customers, you stick yourself in Just Eat or Deliveroo. Deliveroo will, will get delivered or Just Eat will just send you the orders through for you to dispatch. Our goal is to have a UK wide coverage. That means if you have a store in Manchester and you've got an extra member of staff or you close at a certain time and you can get around We'll make sure you, well, we want to provide a service that gives delivery up to 8.30 p.m. the same day. And we don't just want to be same day delivery. You know, we run our web chats on our website with real humans who actually vape, not bots, not people based in far flung destinations. So when people come to a website and they're not sure what to buy, we're handling loads of web chats at the moment on our own site, giving people the right advice. We're trying to give the same level of offline customer service that you have in your local shop, we'll give it online as well. And again, it's not just that as well. Uh, we did a quick video on why Amazon's difficult to use if you're a new vapor. 
I mean, how many times have you had people come into your shop and they bought an item on Amazon, have you got the core for it? And you've probably never seen the device in your life uh, because it's some cheap bit of tack that's given someone a bit of a, a bit of a good markup. Um, so if you know what you're looking for on Amazon, it's a great platform. If you're looking for an extension cable, if you're looking for a mouse for an iPad, iPad, mouse for a MacBook, you'll find it because it's pretty straightforward. If you're looking for a vape starter kit, it's not so easy. And then once you bought your vape starter kit, when you've sifted through 77 listings of Ego starter kits and 35 of Inokin Endura T18s and trying to find, would you go for that product or would you go for this one based on price? What do you do? And then what liquid do you use? And so you're invariably using the wrong liquid. They're using a too thick, they're using a high BG one and a mouth to lung. They're using uh, a runny PG liquid and a sub ohm tank. It's just, it's, it's a catastrophe. And that's where Amazon falls down in our view because they're not specialists in that area. And that's, that's not what they're geared up to be. They're geared up to be a mass marketplace. We believe there's a place for a expert in that industry. And particularly if we're offering same day delivery in areas that Amazon is just not gonna reach, you've got a USP. So our goal is to sign up as many shops as we can uh, in their own exclusive territories. It's free to sign up and, uh, and build a UK-wide same-day delivery network. Compete with Amazon and give yourself some extra customs. So if you're interested, check out vaperun.com, drop us an email to partners at vaperun.com and sign up before someone else in your territory does. That's cool. That's all for now. Oh, raffle tickets. Oh, raffle tickets, yes. So we are running a eSports gaming event on February 23rd in Islington, our vape produce store down there. We're pitting e-liquid brands against e-liquid brands couple of influencers down there as well um, but in the run-up to it we're doing a number of different raffles so uh, we, I've got a raffle so we have a charity I've set up with the Mason Foundation I lost both my parents in the last two years to cancer both cancers could have been treated if they'd been caught early uh, we walk around with smart watches on our hands but how smart are they they're no more fancy than than you know a GPS watch we've had for years if we could have a watch that could determine our sweat levels and pinpoint if our calcium levels are high, you'd find out someone's got cancer. So the Charity Foundation, the Mason Foundation, is set up to reward grants and give funding to students who are specifically searching for early cancer screening methods with a focus on it being a widely adoptable screening method. That means so people that loss affects us all whether or not we're, you know, our race, our colour, our ethnicity, our social standing, our social or our income, we all get affected by loss. Animals get affected by loss. And I don't like the idea of there being treatments out there that are cut off from people because they perhaps can't afford it, because loss is a horrible thing to go through. And if I can help one family avoid what I went through, I'd love to do that. So um, the foundation is there to provide grants to students to focus exclusively on early cancer screening that is widely available and widely adoptable and not for the, you know, the private or the rich elite. Um, and we're raising money for that by doing a charity raffle. We're running it constantly, so when one item sells out, we'll put a new one up there. So we've currently got, um, it's not in front of me now, a vacuum light to dry her vaporizer. Um, retails are 75. We're doing, only doing 30 tickets for £2 each, so it's actually cheaper. So if you wanted to buy one and you're watching this, you can get it for a marked discount. Um, or you can just do a good thing and pay £2 and get a raffle ticket and have a 1 in 30 chance. That one will probably be gone by the time you watch this video, and we'll have another one up. So you can check out on uh, vapeinduce.com, search for eSports raffle in the top box, and it will come up with whatever that day's product is. Um, and uh, if you're around in Islington on February 23rd, come down to Vape and Juice and uh, watch a good Fortnite and Call of Duty and FIFA event. So, uh, and if also, if you've got a brand who wants to get involved as well, get in touch with us. My name's I'm David at vapeandjuice.co.uk and we'll see if we can get you in. All right, that's Vape and Juice TV. Subscribe below. We do a uh, monthly, monthly draw for people who subscribe to us and we check them a free goodie bag. And uh, that's the Connie Cathal Show. Ta-da!